Hey everyone, it's MGV, Mafia Game Videos, and in this video I'm going to show you a very secret alternative cutscene that can play in Chapter 7 in loving memory of Francesco Potenza. Now this cutscene can only play in the beginning of the mission. After you visit Joe and talk to him, you cannot redo this cutscene, you cannot see it again. So in this video I'm going to showcase it. Now the reason I say secret is because the game spawns you right in front of Joe's apartment and it tells you to speak to Joe. The game doesn't tell you to go to Little Italy, go back to your childhood house, and speak to Eric Riley, your new brother-in-law, Francesca's husband. The game also doesn't tell you to speak to Giuseppe, it doesn't tell you to speak to Harry, and it doesn't tell you to speak to Steve. This video is going to showcase the secret alternative cutscene with Eric, and it's also going to show three alternative dialogues at Giuseppe's shop, at Harry's gun shop, and at Derek's office. Now, I know some people are in the comments are already going to say, Oh, I already knew this 10 years ago. Why are you making a video of it now? And for those people, I tell you, give yourself a pat on the back. You're a genius. But this video is for the majority of people that don't know about this. It kind of makes sense for Vito to go straight to his mother's house instead of going straight to Joe. Because, spoiler alert, Vito's mother just died when he was in prison. And the first thing he would do is check up on his little sister. He wouldn't realistically go straight to Joe's. He just stopped by real quick, say hi to his sister. And um, I like the. I love how the devs included this in Mafia 2. When I first heard about Linking Clay's car from Mafia 3, the Samson Drifter, going to Mafia 2 Definitive Edition, I hated the idea. I thought it was stupid that a 1968 car is going to go in the 1940s and 1950s. Even though it's not authentic with the game, <laughs> it's just fun to drive. This thing's a beast. Yeah. Uh, Look, whatever you're selling, pal, I ain't interested. No, 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 no. My name's Vito Scaletta. I'm looking for... Oh, right. Francesca's brother. <laughs> she told me you were in jail. I'm out now. And you are? Francesca's husband, Eric. Your sister ain't here. She uh, must be out shopping or something. I'll uh, tell her you stop by. See ya. Yeah, uh... If that guy wasn't married to my sister, Maron... Now I'm going to replay this cutscene with commentary from Vito's point of view. This cutscene shows you Eric's character development. It shows you how much of a low life and scum he is. He's living in my childhood house. He's probably sleeping in my bed. And he shuts the door in my face. He doesn't invite me in for beer or coffee or tea. He just shuts the door right in my face. He's being a mini moocher. He's, he doesn't even have his own crib. And it literally says Scaletta on the door. Yeah, this cutscene shows you perfectly how Francesca made a very poor decision in marrying Eric Riley. Hello, Vito? Is that you? I heard you... Yeah, I, uh... I went upstate for a while. Just got back today. Ah, this is one of the first places you visit, huh? <laughs> anxious to get into trouble again, huh? Oh, you mean anxious to stay out of trouble? Ha! <laughs> yes, of course. Okay, so what do you need? Whatever you need, I got. What's your pleasure? I see you soon, Vito.
They finally let you out, huh? <laughs> Derek ain't here right now. Come back later. It's me, Vito. Come on in. Hey, look who's here. <laughs> Looking good, Vito. So, how was it? About as much fun as a sandpaper hand job. <laughs> well, just be glad you weren't still in uniform. Them boys didn't have it easy. All right. You must be in the market for some hardware, right? Right. Let me show you what I got. Hey, don't forget the ammo, too, huh? So what do you need, Vito? See you around, Vito. Place, park, scene, dark. Silvery moon is shining through the trees. Cast to me, you. Sound of kisses floating on the breeze. Act one, be.